Hi my friends, what's up? I don't know, I'm a little thoughtful today, so how about a nice walk through Edinburgh Soul Town to clear our mind? Yeah, why not? For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Lawrence and I'm here to tell you many stories around the world from my human point of view. Before starting, help me to grow this project, snap me a like and subscribe. Ok, back to us, welcome to the Royal Mile, my favorite street in Edinburgh. It starts from the castle until you reach the beautiful Holyrood Palace with a total length of approximately 1 Scots mile, which is about 1.81 km. Today this path is divided in four different parts, Castle Hill and the Hub, the Lawn Market, the High Street and the Cannon Gate, each with its own particularities. This is a must-see place in Edinburgh, actually you really have to work hard to miss it, and indeed as the perfect tourist that day I was thrilled, ready to explore and capture every single moment with my camera. Before jumping on the mile, you know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I really can't miss some of the most important places that every Potterhead must go on pilgrimage. Walking through Potterhead, so I reached the first place, the McGonagall pub, and after that the famous Elephant House, where our beloved J.K. Rowling gave life to our favorite wizard boy. But the most exciting place was Victoria Street. It was so charming, a little curved with those colorful little shops and its two floors. It is famous because of course inspired Diagon Alley, the shopping street for Hogwarts students in London. Unfortunately I didn't find owls, brooms or wands, but I probably didn't look in the right places. Victoria Street have also many folk tales. In the cold Scottish nights seem that the ghost of Angus Roy, a seaman forced to retire after a near fatal accident, haunt Victoria Terrace, and he can reportedly still be heard dragging his crushed leg. Or if he's not the seaman, it could be Major Thomas Ware, owner of the Quaker Meeting House, who confessed to witchcraft before being executed, and his spirit may still lie here, we don't know. Ok, let's not think about it, instead let's talk about the mile. First point of interest, of course, the castle, my grumpy guardian of Edinburgh. If you want to know more about its folk tales, I suggest you watch the video I made about it. The mile have also three churches that are amazing to visit. The St. Columba Free Church of Scotland, the famous St. Giles Cathedral and the Cannon Gate Kirk. Walking around the Lone Market I was continually drawn to the beautiful little shops for wool and whiskey and Scottish things, oh my god, I love Scottish stuff, I want to buy everything, everything. Never mind, artists sometimes gather at a group of people and in the meantime I was enraptured by the scent of cinnamon bun wafting from the small cafes. I got lost over and over, looking at all those people of all kinds who didn't care about me. That was the moment I realized that I was actually completely alone, as a real Edinburgh ghost, and it was amazing. <laughs> as I walked I observed, the people are strange and amazing, each with its own mysterious story which they told indirectly with their clothes, their way of moving, their expressions and certainly every now and then I stopped to observe some other cool stuff. Obviously my first stop was JK Rowling handprint, of course. Then this amazing road, Cockburn Street. I loved the way the houses were laid out here. It almost looked like a crown of buildings. And above all I really liked the shapes and the gothic vibe of the structures in Edinburgh. It was great. I was already on the high street, the mile after you cross the south bridge it gets smoother and smoother, to Cannon Gate where it's not even pedestrian only anymore. It was a fantastic place to walk and occasionally to get lost in the windows of some typical shop. So after a while and after a short visit to the Edinburgh Museum, where my curiosity led me almost by chance, I reached the Scottish Parliament and the famous palace of Holyrood House. 
the Royal Mile is a place full of history and still today if you stop for a minute to observe it manages to give you the vibe of the greatness and pride of this amazing Scottish capital. As far as I'm concerned, however, the day I understood one important thing that was uh, that sometimes ghosts are just people who want to feel free by being with themselves for a while. And welcome, welcome to the end card guys, thank you so much for watching, this was just a little walk, I hope I was able to give you a little bit of the vibe of the main street of the city. Next step will be Calton Hill and Dean Village, I can't wait to take you there. So, see you next video and as I always say, cheers!